hello everyone in this video i am going to explain about the structure and working of pid controller let us begin with the introduction of pid controller pid controllers are found in a wide range of application for industrial process control approximately 95% of closed loop operations of industrial automation sector use pid controllers PID stands for Proportional Integral Derivative. These three controllers are combined in such a way that it produces a control signal. As a feedback controller, it delivers the control output at desired levels. Before microprocessors were invented, PID controller was implemented by the analog electronic components. But today all PID controllers are processed by the microprocessors. Programmable logic controller that is PLC also have the inbuilt PID controller instructions. Due to the flexibility and reliability of PID controllers, these are traditionally used in process control applications. Let us see working of PID controllers. With the use of low cost simple on off controller, only two control states are possible like fully on or fully off. It is used for limited control applications where these two control states are enough for control objective. However, oscillating nature of this control limits its uses and hence it is being replaced by PID controllers. PID controller maintains the output such that there is a zero error between process variable and set point or a desired output by closed loop operations. PID control is still widely used in industry because of its simplicity, no need for a plant model, no design to be performed. PID uses three basic control behaviors that are proportional, integral and derivative controller. The user just install a controller and adjust three gains to get the best achievable performance. Now see different forms of PID controller. This is the test book form for the PID controller. UT is the output is equal to K in bracket. E of T is the error plus 1 upon T integral 0 to T E of T DT plus TD derivative of error with respect to time where et is the difference between command and plant output is the controller input and ut is the control variable that is controller output the three parameters are k Proportion, uh, this is the constant k which indicates the proportional gain, integral time and derivative time. Now if you take the Laplace transform of this equation, we get g of s is equal to k in bracket Laplace of uh, e of t is the 1 plus 1 upon ti that is the integral time. 1 of into s plus s into td one of the another form of the pid is also called as the parallel form is like this if you take the laplace transform we get the equation like this now let us suppose one example which consists of simple mass spring and damper on which force f is acting the governing equation of this spring mass damper if you solve you get the governing equation like this mx double dot plus bx dot plus kx is equal to f now again take the laplace of this equation you get the equation now if you simplify this equation that is the laplace of output divided by laplace of input that is the transfer function 
we get the 1 upon m s square plus b s plus k now to understand the significance of uh, PID controller we are going to put some values of mass so damper coefficient and spring constant now put m mass is equal to 1 damper coefficient is equal to 10 and spring constant is equal to 20 the goal of this problem is to show how each of term that is kp ki and kd contributes to obtain the common goal of that is fast rise time minimal overshoot and zero steady state error now consider first case that is open loop step response that is no control action with the help of uh, PID controller by using Scilab SCOS module. Now let us draw a system as shown in figure using Scilab SCOS module and see graph for the same. Now open the window, you get the window like this, open XCOS module. Here you get the different modules from we have to select the the components which require to draw a closed loop transfer system for a given statement. Okay, we need here a clock. Also we need a step function. Just click and drag it in other window. Take one clock. Here we get the recently used components. Summing point. Where signal get added and subtracted. Here we can put our transfer function. Here I am trying to plot control system without PID controller connect all the component Here you can change the signal that is positive and negative. Here you can put the numerator and denominator values of transfer function. Our transfer function is 1 upon s square plus 10 s plus 20. Here you can change the step size. Okay, some mistake is there. Here we need to modify. Instead of two inputs, I am going to take single input. Now 
now if you plot the graph here I want to modify the simulation time here you can do the step size I am selecting here step size 2 in simulation you can do the setting I am going to keep setting as it is if you simulate it you get the graph like this green color indicates the step size which is which we have selected to and this is the response curve which is in black color this corresponds to steady state error of near about 0.95 which is quite large so furthermore the rise time is about one second and the settling time is about three seconds so let's design a controller that will reduce the rise time reduce the settling time also eliminate the steady state error let us be trying to add the proportional controller now here i have added the proportional controller the value of kp uh, i am going to put it 300 now let us see the graph or response curve as the proportional controller reduces the rise time you can see here increase the overshoot and reduces the steady state error let us zoom it you can see the change into the response curve now again I am going to modify it see for the KP value of 200 you can see the change into the response curve now I am going to again add the value of derivative controller let us put p is equal to 300 and value of kd is equal to 10 that is td time response response that is derivative time let's see the performance of curve now let us see for the pid controller put the all values of kp K, T, I and T, D and see the performance curve PID controller action is used as after several iteration of tuning you can see by using value of KP is equal to 350, TI is equal to 300 and TD is equal to 50. The desired response for the given system is it not having more overshoot. Again, there is a faster response time or rise time. No steady state error you can see. like that you can do PID tuning for the different for functions or different models thanks for watching this video